All right, so with this question, it's coming from 2020, paper 2. The first question here, they're saying, given that matrix A is equal to 5, 2, 2x, two find the value of x for which A has no inverse. This is very important to understand. So if they say this matrix A has no inverse, meaning the determinant, so let me write it here, the determinant of matrix A, of which we know that matrix A, right here, the determinant of it should be equal to a zero. So now how do we get this determinant? We know that determinant of matrix A can be found by multiplying the major diagonal minus multiplication of the minor diagonal. So when we say major diagonal, this is major diagonal. You just say 5 times x, it will give us a 5x. And then you say minus the minor diagonal, which is a 2 times 2, and it will give us a 4. So we've got now this of which we know that uh, this determinant is equal to 0. So we can write this as 5x minus 4 is equal to a 0. So from here, we group the like terms. So it will be a 5x is equal to a 4. So this minus 4 cross the equal sign, it will be a plus 4. You divide by 5 by 5, meaning the value of x. This and this will cancel, will remain with x, will be equal to a 4 over 5. So the value of x in this case, or the solution for question A, 1 is equal to 4 over 5. I hope you're able to see here. Now for question A2 here, they are saying uh, find the inverse of A if x is equal to 1. So this is A. What we're going to do here is to just say, this is uh, question 2. They've given us the value of x to be equal to 1. Meaning our matrix A will be equal to a 5, a 2, a 2, and x right here. So in place of x, we are going to substitute a 1. That is because in the question they have said the value of x is equal to 1. So now this is our matrix A. So now to find the inverse, we know that inverse of a matrix can be found by writing a 1 over the determinant over that given matrix, the determinant, okay? And then multiplied by the adjoint. Adjoint. So I'll explain what each of these means, okay? So first thing here, we need to find uh, the determinant. So determinant of A, which we need to put here, is equal to, we multiply the major diagonal, that is 5 times 1, it will give us a 5, minus 2 times 2 will give us a 4. And when we simplify here, we're getting the determinant to be equal to a 1. The other thing that we need to find here is the adjoint. Add joint. So for the add joint to be found, we go to this matrix. We switch the major diagonal. So always switch the position of this and this. Switch their positions. So 1 will go where 5 was, and 5 also where 1 was. For the minor diagonal, you change the sign. If this is positive, you write a negative. Even here, negative, because it was positive. 
but if it was negative meaning you write a positive here so we have what we want what the formula is telling us to to have so we can say a inverse is equal to 1 this one over the determinant is equal to 1 so over a 1 times the adjoint which is this one 1 negative 2 negative 2 5 so this is our adjoint we can now simplify all this thing when you multiply by what is inside you get uh, the same thing that is inside because when we divide one one by one it will give us a one one times what is inside here we we'll still get the same so this is the solution for question a right all these are solutions for question a right over here so we now look at our question b 1b so for question 1b they've given us uh, a statement which we need to follow so they are saying a bag contains seven red and white identical balls so we know that uh, seven red and uh, three white okay so here they are saying two balls are taken from the bag at random one after the other without a replacement draw a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes so to draw the, the the tree diagram this is what you need okay so you do this this is a tree diagram here you're going to say red here you're going to say white again you do this because they said uh, two okay so meaning one after the other so this is the first round you pick you can either pick red or white when you pick red or white the second round when you picked red you can you can either pick red or white even here so this is how you you write the tree diagram okay you first write the tail the tail here for red and white each tail where it's ending here should have the set which is coming from this side like it is here and also here so here we're going to write seven over ten so where is this seven coming from look at this they have said red is seven so it should be 7, which is for red, over the total. So 7 plus 3, it's a 10. For white, it's a 3, over the total, which is a, a 10. So here when you pick red, or this is a possibility or probability of picking red, this is a probability of picking white. So when you pick white, or when you pick red, here you shall have a 9 okay even nine here even nine even nine so they've said without replacement meaning the denominator here will reduce by one so here it's nine it has reduced by one even here it has reduced by one you just say 10 minus uh, one it will give us nine 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 now what are we supposed to write on top here since this is r and this is r you reduce the top because when you pick red meaning red will reduce to 6 here so you shall have a 6 if you pick the red here this way the white will maintain the number which is here because you picked the red you come here if you picked white you pick red or probability of picking red will just be the same because this is white but look at this this is white white is 3 if you pick white again to pick white you shall have a 2 because this three has reduced by one. This one has been picked. So there were three. There will remain two of them. So once you do this, I like encouraging people that uh, you do this. This is very important. You say, okay, 
This is the probability of finding a red, red. Probability of finding a red, white. Red, white. For this one, white, red, it's here. White, white, it's uh, here. So now we can do the calculations here. So what answers are we getting here? So for red, red, you multiply 7 over 10 times 6 over 9. And this is giving us a 7 over 15. 7 over 10 times 3 over 9, it's giving us a 7 over 30. We come to this one, 3 over 10 times 7 over 9, it's giving us a 7, 30, uh, 7 over 30. 3 over 10 times 2 over 9, this one is giving us a 1 over 15. Finding these probabilities will help you to understand if you're doing the right thing. So you can now add this plus this plus this plus this. It's, if it's giving you 1, if they are all giving you 1 here, it means you are doing the right thing. This is how we get to test if we're doing the right thing. So now the second question here, we've done the tree diagram. We can say this is B1, B1. So for two, the vastus equation for this question two, they've said find the probability of uh, taking at least one white ball. So at least this word means uh, greater or equal to. So at least it should be this one, there is white, there is white, there is white. So we shall say probability of picking uh, red and white plus probability of picking white and red plus probability of picking a white. So what is the probability of picking a red and white? It's here. That's a 7 over 30 plus here, 7 over 30 plus this one here, 1 over 15. And when you add these, you are simply getting 18 over 15. This is uh, our answer. 